What's going on about this Afro Think Tank? Today, I want to talk about subscribers, right? Subscribers and how if you're not careful, and this is for prospective YouTubers in the black space, if you're not, if you're not, if you're not careful, you can create a toxic subscriber base, right? Let me be, let me explain what a toxic subscriber base is, right? Now, when creating a YouTube channel, what a lot of people do, in social media in general, depending on what it is they, they do, they, they have to entertain, if they're teaching, they, gotta, they still got an element of entertainment in there, right? So let's say, for instance, you talk about Tariq Nasheed. Let's use Tariq Nasheed, because black, we know who Tariq Nasheed is, right? Let's say you are against something Tariq Nasheed is saying, and you make a thousand videos of Tariq Nasheed, right? What's gonna happen is, you're gonna get a bunch of subscribers who wanna know, you know, who, who like either like Tariq Nasheed or hate Tariq Nasheed. But either way, both these groups pay attention to Tariq Nasheed, meaning they either value or are really offended about what Tariq Nasheed says, but they concentrate on Tariq Nasheed. So their level of understanding, their level of awareness, Tariq Nasheed's within that view, right? So if you make a thousand videos on Tariq Nasheed, you're gonna get people who, who are hating on you, so they're watching you to see what you're gonna say bad about Tariq Nasheed, or they're watching you to see what you're gonna say good about Tariq Nasheed, right? So then, your subscriber base may go up. So you may get a thousand subscribers who only really came to your channel because you talk about Tariq Nasheed. Or let's say you, you know, or some other person, right? If you create a subscriber base full of people who just, who concentrate on Tariq Nasheed at that level, you're gonna have to continue to crank out that content for them to come back and look at you. Especially if YouTube is your thing and you wanna like, you wanna uh, make money off YouTube, you gotta keep on up in the ante on whatever Tariq Nasheed do. So you end up being, you you almost end up having to stop Tariq Nasheed because that's what your subscribers want. So you create the subscribers, you know, by targeting an individual who you think will give you clout. And in turn, you attract those type of people who you, who, um, who watch Tariq Nasheed into your, as your subscriber base. And then eventually what's gonna happen is your subscriber base are gonna demand that you continue to talk about Tariq Nasheed. So let's say you wanna talk about something else, right? Let's say you wanna change the topic or diversify. Your subscriber base are not gonna to wanna to hear that. They're not gonna to wanna to talk about something else. They want you to talk about Tariq Nasheed. They may be entertained by you talking shit about Tariq Nasheed. They may be entertained about you picking through every single little teeny weeny thing he says, you know, to criticize. They may, that's what they're there for. So if you try to do something else, they're not watching. That means your subscriber base go down, your donations go down, right? So if that happens, the YouTuber, the one that's supposed to be the creator, is forced to start talking back about Tariq Nasheed. So they basically typecast their whole channel that they gotta continue to talk about Tariq Nasheed. And not only do you have to do that, but you gotta up the ante. Because usually people at that lower you know, level of, of awareness, they need more and more stimulation to stay interested in your channel. So that means you gotta up the ante every time. You gotta, gotta get more provocative. You gotta get more controversial. And you may get to the point where you yourself become toxic because your subscriber base forced you to become toxic because you have to now pander to your subscriber base, right, that you cultivated and created based off your clout chasing of a Tariq Nasheed, whether it's you agree with him or not. Right. And this example can be used for anything. Right. So when you whatever you start doing, you got to keep doing like here's another example. Gaming. Right. If you start a gaming YouTube channel and you and you show your face. Right. And, and, and they're used to seeing your face. And if for one for, for one reason or another, you may say, I want to do a gaming channel. I don't want to show my face no more for whatever various reasons. They're going to stop watching you because they they came to your channel to watch you play video games while watching you by seeing your face and watch you talking and reacting while playing the game. If you all of a sudden want to become a, a cameraless camel, uh, channel, they're not going to support you because that's not what they came to your channel for, right? So your channel will go down. So that means you would have to go back to pander to the subscribers that you you first, that you got to go back and pander to those subscribers and give them what they want in order to continue to grow within the gaming channel. And this happens, it's the same thing in politics. Politicians, right? They, when they go on a campaign trail, they give the, they, they create, uh, and they create constituents, right? So the Republicans, the way they do it is they create constituents by feeding them what they call red meat. Red meat is 
giving them something they want to hear, you know, from their point of view or the perspective of where they live. So that means you got to be, you know, if you're talking to a bunch of old white people from the Midwest, you want to tell them how all the Mexicans are taking their jobs on the black people are criminals and they're killing everybody. You want to tell them that make America great again, like if the past is going to come back because you're talking to a bunch of elderly people. That's what most Republicans are talking about. Talking to you're talking to old white people from the Midwest that don't really have too much interaction with people of color anyway, unless they're being served by them because of where they are. Right. So they are view is already set a certain way so you have to pander to them the democrats pander to the any the people who want to be anybody and diddy daddy and they want to have their own goddamn you know they want a he she man pan this and that and i'm a i'm a trans pan multisexual and this and that they have to pander to them right because those are the people that's going to vote so they have to keep on up in the ante and before you know it things get out of hand in politics and then somebody dies or something bad happens because people start to take what you say seriously, right? Because your words, you may not know it, but your words have power. Your words to somebody means a lot, even if what you're saying is bullshit, even if you know you're just acting, right? A lot of YouTubers are actors. They're not real. The things that they say, they don't believe. A lot of these fake Republicans for pay, they don't actually believe what they say. A lot of the fake uh, conservative pundits that's on TV they don't actually believe the things that they say but they have to continue to say it because their constituents their fans their subscribers that's what they're there to hear and if they want to get paid that's how it's gonna happen right like for instance the way I decided to build my YouTube channel I used to be in sales so I understand how this works right the way I've decided to build my subscriber base is to keep it real 100% real like a real person so when people watch my channel they know that when they hear someone talking that they're hearing a person who's real talking about real stuff like a real person right so my subscribers know that i'm real so i don't have to up any ante because i'm already at the level at which i need them to see me right i don't have to do anything different i don't have to fake i don't have to continue to be more vulgar i don't have to continue to be more anything i just keep it real now what happens when you keep it real is that a lot of people you know don't want you to keep real they want you to fake they want you to give them something that they came to you know give them something to distract them from reality but my niche is to keep it real and talk about the real world because there are people out there who are entertained by the truth by real information by people who keep it real right by people who have actual charisma and personality right that people who when they see them they like you know what if i ever ran into that guy i'm sure i could talk to that guy and if it weren't when they run into me they meet the same person that they seen on the camera right and that's refreshing to people when they when when they when you meet somebody that you either admire or you just like what they say you know or you you know or you agree with the, or you you're kind of agree with their message and you kind of kumbaya simpatico with them when you meet them in real life when you find out that they're really that person it's refreshing that they made a good choice into following you or you know and, and they don't feel like oh they've been played but when you meet somebody <clears throat> who you admire or who you follow or who you have um, um, ideological you know, um, similarities to, when you meet them in real life and they're not the person that they say they are, it can be, it's, it's, it's disheartening. You know what I'm saying? And I thought about that before I made my YouTube channel because I got enough charisma to pretty much go any route I want. And if I wanted to fake and pretend, you know, I can have a lot more subscribers. But I, what I didn't want to have is 100,000 subscribers that came to hear me talk about some bullshit or that I don't want 100,000 subscribers that want to hear me talk about some fake stuff or I didn't want 100,000 subscribers that want to hear me talk about Tariq Nasheed. You know, I don't want I don't want that. I want subscribers who can finish sentences. I want subscribers who can contribute to the conversation, you know, and give me feedback. I want subscribers who are not fanboys and who won't like just willy nilly defend me all over the place like a cult member. I want people who got their own minds because what, what I always say at the end of my videos, learn something, teach something, right? I expect to be learning things from my subscribers the same way I expect them to learn from what the things that I say. Because I know that I'm just a dude on the internet. Everybody on the internet, just somebody on the internet. Ain't nobody more, no more important, no more omnipotent than anybody else. We all put our pants on the same way. We all bleed. Ain't nobody special. I don't care what your title is, how much money you got, how many movies you made, how many songs you made. How many nice suits you got? It doesn't matter. We're all just the same, right? At the end of the day. And I like to talk like that because you never know who's watching you. You never know who you're going to meet on the street. Because keep in mind, they'll recognize you before you recognize them.
<laughs> and so you got to keep that also in mind right and i always smile and stay humble to everybody i meet in person because you never know who you're talking to in person any too so i feel like i've built the be one of the best subscriber bases on youtube and i purposely built it this way and i sacrificed the artificial subscriber numbers like some people they got a hundred thousand subscribers but when you watch their videos you don't see a thousand people watching their lives why because nobody's really interested in me anymore they they only came there for the original content and then they switched up or changed or because they can't act no more they got tired of playing the same character and they want to do something different the people done left we see my subscribers are loyal right i got good subscribers so when i see my video count or how many people watch my videos based on how many people i got i'm getting 10 percent retention right people my click-through rate is good why because i make sure the people that want to see me are the people that want to see me i don't pander to my subscribers right i commune and i socialize with my subscribers right i don't lie to my subscribers i tell the truth to my subscribers and whether they think it's entertaining or not if my vocabulary is too complicated for a lot of black folks then they weren't meant to be my subscribers right if what i'm saying offends some people they weren't meant to be my subscribers so since i'm not subscriber hustling and i refuse to clout chase because there is absolutely nobody on youtube that i'm impressed with i'm not i'm not impressed with any famous person i don't care how many much gucci you got on i don't care what you say your accomplishments are i'm not impressed right because i'm on my third life all right i done finished a whole i done finished two whole people's lives already my story is absolutely positively amazing and y'all some of my subscribers most of my subscribers y'all don't know the tenth of it right i've had a, a very exciting very exciting crazy life right which one day i'll probably write a book when i get old and i get close enough to when i finish with this third life maybe i have a fourth life but i'm working on this third life now i don't live some lives all right and, and so with that being said nobody impresses me right whether they're rich poor because anybody any rich person can be poor the next day and a poor person can hit the lottery and be rich the next day they don't mean nothing right not nothing to me right so i think i did a good job with my subscribers because when my subscribers make comments they be writing paragraphs right the sentences be complete they actually put commas and dots and and, and they, they formulate it correctly and then when they have evidence they actually put like links so we can go check the evidence back based off the things that they say you know i don't want a hundred thousand dumbass subscribers that only could put four words together and they say the same five words and they get offended and they get and they say things like you being emotional when emotional means i got you know you got personality you know a lot of these weirdos on the internet they ain't got no personality and they don't even understand how the emotions or how emotions work or what to do what charisma is or how to talk to a person and you know how to communicate effectively how to comprehend you know vocabularies that's not you know just three letter words and in and, and four letter sentences you know people who can actually think critically because i'm called afro think tank so i need people who can think i need subscribers who can think to help me out while i'm helping them out because this is social media there's a social aspect to it right so if you think you're the smartest person in the room and, and all your subscribers a bunch of dumbasses who's just going to gaslight you and big your head up nobody's going to learn nothing it's just the blind following the blind this dumbasses following the dumbasses is dumber and dumber that's what it is right and i refuse to have a hundred thousand dumbass subscribers i'd rather have a good solid ten thousand smart people and that's all i need all right anyway i hope y'all understood this i hope y'all got my examples that's all i got to say it's afro think tank learn some teach some i'm out